Hey, welcome back. Today I'll be going over Air 2's drying event. We'll be covering the new locations, clothing, random events, utilities, and the tank giver. Starting off with the Oasis, it is a tall, rundown, factory-like area taking place at the caldera of the volcano. Notable buildings include Umbrella Tower, the Hotel, and the Barracks, or even the Underground Bar. Next is the hive, in which on the outside it's just a really big nest with some military tents outside of it, and on the inside it's caves, crates, and corpses. There's nothing really interesting about the hive at the moment, but according to a YouTube comment by an AR2 developer, Stant, suggests that something's gonna happen to the hive very soon. Lastly, the military encampment is a beach cargo ship with some military tents beside a runway with a small cargo plane. As stated in the promotional poster, there are 48 new cosmetics that you can only find during the drying and 16 new cosmetics that can be found during and after the event ends. Starting with the 48 cosmetics that are limited to the event, first we have the dry grass ghillie which can be found in these pressurized cases that are lit up around the oasis. And you can find the black, brown, green and red militia hoods, coats, cloaks, dusters, robes and vests from various infected that spawns in the oasis and random events that we will go over in the next chapter. You can get the pink hood and robes from this zombie that spawns at the top of the hotel and the cactus fit from this zombie that spawns in the underground bar. You can find the black and grey respirators and tank carriers from the zombie that drops the fowl and the zombie that drops the tank giver. You can find the white militia set from the white militia zombie and lastly you can get the umbrella hat from the zombie that drops the Mosin on top of this tower. Now for the 16 non-event cosmetics, the tan shirt and tank top are common clothes and can be found anywhere but most commonly in the tan tents at the hive or military encampment. Along with that, the desert chip camo set drops from the zombies wearing it at the military tents at the hive or military encampment and lastly the zombies that can drop the full tan pilot set spawns at NAS, regional airport and military encampment. Alright, there's four new random events for this update and I call them White Wanderer, ATV Convoy, ATV Raid, and Shootout. Starting off, the White Wanderer is a zombie dressed in white robes that spawns at these locations. It has an og on its back that it always drops and it rarely drops its clothes. It spawns next to an ATV which has a yellow equipment case on the back that can rarely spawn attachments and a weapon case on the front that spawns police class weapons and on the floor next to the ATV you'll sometimes find a black guitar case. I'm gonna be honest, the rest of the events are pretty useless and the best thing you can really get from them is like an AKS or maybe some water and rations. Along with the event, the utility system was reworked and with the addition of 17 new utilities, you now spawn with a flashlight, map and compass and each takes up one utility slot. With the new utilities, each has a function and a type. Most of the utilities functions are passive, meaning they don't need to be interacted with, and most of the utilities have unique types, so that's irrelevant as of now. So I put the new utilities into five categories, being weapons, movement, consumables, repairing, and other. The new gun, the M1918 Tankover, drops from the Desert Marauder, and it does 30 damage to limbs, 55 damage to the body, and 115 damage for headshots. It uses 13.2mm anti-tank ammo that only drops from the Desert Marauder in boxes with a capacity of 20. You can only load one shot into it at a time and it takes 5 seconds to reload. You have to equip it to carry it around, it's too long to carry in your inventory, and whenever you ADS it makes your character crouch. Anyways, that's the end of the video, thank you for watching, see ya!